Hello friends, welcome to the course of Coding Data for RESTful API Development using Silt Authentication. So from this video session guys, we're going to start our second phase of API development where we'll include Silt Authentication. So this is very first video of this second phase. So here we'll discuss about discussion about development. Inside last videos, we had completed all about the basics concept of Code Igniter as well as first phase of API development. If I back to slide. So successfully, inside last videos, we had completed all about the basics concept of Code Igniter 4 as well as first phase of API development. Now from this video, we'll start our second phase of API development that is API development using Silt Authentication. So Silt is a composer package. By the help of that, it provides a authentication system inside our code data for application. So inside the second phase of API development, we have two tables called users and projects. So whenever we install Silt authentication package inside application, automatically it provides several authentication tables. So inside those tables, we'll have a users table. We only need to create one more table that will be projects. And inside that table, we'll have the columns as ID, user ID, name and budget. So while creating database tables, we don't need to actually worry about our users table because by default, Silt authentication packages provides all about authentication tables. So if we have all these tables, then we'll go inside our API development processes. So the first API will create all about our register API. So while registering any user inside system, we need to pass the data as username, email and password. So once we pass username, email and password, then automatically we'll create users inside our database. So once we create any user, then we'll go and create user login API. Inside login API, we'll pass email address and password and bypassing those details, we can log in into our system. So after login, then we'll go and create our third API that will be get logged in user data. It is also known as profile API. So by creating this API, we will collect the user data when we logged in via any user detail. And finally, inside user authentication system, we will create user logout API. Inside that, whenever hit this API, then automatically it will log out any user which has logged in. So successfully, by the help of top 4 APIs, we will handle our user authentication system. All these APIs will go and run and execute by the help of our Silt authentication tables known as users. Apart from users table, we'll have, we will have other tables as well which handles this authentication system. So finally, after covering all about our user APIs, then we'll go and create few APIs on our projects table. So inside projects table, as we had discussed that we have the columns as ID, user ID, name and budget. So whenever we create our first API that is add project API. So while creating that, we need to pass user ID which automatically will drive when user will be logged in. And after user ID, then we need name and budget. So these values automatically we will pass inside body parameters. So somewhere, this table is showing a relationship between users and projects table by the help of this user ID. Now next, we have the API as list user wise projects. It means whenever user will be logged in, after logged in, we'll get the user ID and on the behalf of user ID, we'll query our database table called projects and fetch all the projects data. And finally, Inside this APIs list, we'll have our last API as delete project API. So while calling this API, we need to pass user ID and project ID. So on the behalf of these two IDs, we'll be able to delete any project from projects table. 
So this is the overall discussion of API development using SILD authentication. So before starting this phase 2 API development processes, we need a code data for setup. So I will go inside official website and I will download a fresh setup of code data for. Click on download. Here inside this code data for section, click on user guide because we will prefer using composer installation. Go here inside this installation section, click on composer installation. If I scroll down, it will provide a command. So let's copy this composer command. Get back to slide. Open a new tab. Pasting it here. So as we can see, it has provided a composer command. By the help of that, we can create a code data for setup. So here, if I go inside of folder structure, so we can see these two folders what we had created while learning our basics concept as well as first phase of API development. So this time, we will make the folder name as CI4. This will be CI4-SILD-API-Phase1. So what I will do, CI4-SILD-API hyphen phase 2 so this will be our folder name I will go copy this command back to terminal we are inside our folder let's paste that command press enter wait for a while because it will do a fresh installation into our system as we can see installation now is started And successfully as we can see that installation now completed if I go into our folder structure now we can see we have our phase 2 folder so I will open this setup into my VS code editor so successfully I have imported our second phase of API development setup into my VS code so if I go back to terminal Let's go inside our setup. So I will type ls to list all folders here. We need to go inside this folder. So cd, let's say ci4-sild-api-phase2. Press enter. Now we are inside our phase 2 setup. Let's go and start development server. So to start development server, we'll use a spark cli command. So php spark serve press enter it will start our application and here as you can see so to access application we need to open this url so right click click on copy link back to browser press enter and as you can see that now successfully we have installed our project inside our local system now next I will connect a database with this application so that in our coming videos we'll work on our database tables. So back to phpMyAdmin, I have logged in with my login details, click on databases. Let's create a database here, so ci4-sild-api-phase2 not hyphen it will be underscore so i will copy the db name click on create button database created back to vs code go inside env file so first thing first we need to do a rename from env to dot env so right click click on rename so from env to dot env now this file is useful inside this application so click on that file scroll down we need to go inside our database section first i will uncomment all these lines so i have removed the hash symbol of each of the line now host name localhost we are using our local system so localhost is okay database name in my case the username is admin and password is admin at rate 123 and one more thing i will do that is ci underscore environment i will do from production to development 
Now successfully, we have set up a fresh setup of Code Igniter 4 inside this second phase of API development and from next video, we'll go and learn all about our API development processes. If I go and reload this page, so successfully, we don't have any errors, it means we have connected our database as well. So from the next video, we'll start our development process of this sealed package. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.